Hello, this is Tracy, and hopefully this is a quick video on calculating gun damage per second, or DPS, base gun DPS. Now, I'm not talking about overall DPS, which includes skills, gear, elemental mods, tactics, etc., just individual guns. And I don't mean burst fire, which you can determine just by multiplying the damage rating by the fire rate. I'm talking about average maximum damage over time to include reloading. Okay, this kind of DPS becomes important with increasing difficulty levels and larger mobs, and especially with bossing. Now, base gun DPS is obviously not the only ingredient in successful game plan. There are a lot of other factors that can affect gun performance besides raw DPS, even if we only look at the gun, and I will get into some of those later. Nonetheless, calculating base DPS is one way to compare weapon effectiveness, especially similar weapons or even different variants of the same weapon. And be careful, however, when you start comparing very different weapons and any unique or legendary weapons with special, often hidden abilities. I will touch upon some of those later in the video. Now, the basic idea is simple. You want to calculate the maximum damage the gun can do with one magazine. Uh, so if you empty a magazine and hit with all rounds, how much total damage will you do? You want to divide that by the time it takes you to fire all those rounds and reload. And that's DPS in a nutshell. Now to do that, you're going to need four or five pieces of information direct from the weapon stat card. You will always need damage, rate of fire, uh, reload speed, and magazine size. Additionally, you always need to check the white text for weapons that consume more than one ammo per shot. If it does, write that number down as well. Okay. So the formula looks like this. Don't panic. Okay. I'm going to break it down to a couple of small, simple steps. Okay. Also, if you have access to a spreadsheet program, you can set up a sheet where you just plug in the numbers and a formula does the work for you. That would look something like this. Again, don't, don't uh, panic. The blue text is simply what info goes where in the formula. The actual formula uses cell addresses. Is shown here okay those of you who know how to work on a, a spreadsheet will understand that okay so to break this down into five simpler steps step one you want to calculate the effective magazine size or EMS this is only really an issue if the gun consumes more than one ammo per shot if not you're just dividing the magazine size by one which gives you the list of magazine size this is result a okay step two you want to calculate the maximum damage per magazine if the damage rating is a single number, multiply that damage figure by result A. If damage rating has a multiplier, perform that multiplication first, and then multiply that by result A. I'll show you a couple of examples of those later. Okay. If you use a spreadsheet, actually have a separate cell column in the formula for that damage modifier. Now the end result is result B, max damage per magazine. Step three, divide result A by your rate of fire. This is how long it takes to empty your magazine on full auto or spam the trigger on semi. This is result C. Step four, add result C to the reload time. This is the cycle time, the time required to empty the magazine and reload, and this is result D. And then lastly, step five, divide result B by result D. This is your DPS. Okay, this one has two, five, eight, nine damage per second. And, and, and that's it. Okay. Uh, let me take two other ones here. Show you a quick example where I can tear two different variants of the same gun. Say you're min-maxing and you want to know which of these two has the higher DPS. Is it the one with the higher damage number and faster reload, or the one with the higher rate of fire and larger magazine? Well, most people will gravitate towards the higher damage rating, but in this case, it's actually the lower base damage one. Okay, that's good to know. It's about 5% greater. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Okay, so here's an example that uses multiple ammo per shot. Okay, this guy uses two ammo per shot and it actually has a multiplier up in the uh, damage column. So result A is 13, result B, 12.662, result C, 2.06 seconds, cycle time, 4.26 seconds, DPS, 2.972. There you go. Okay, let's do one more. This crossroads has a projectile damage multiplier of 2 and consumes 3 ammo per shot. Uh, no, that's correct. It has a damage multiplier of 3 and consumes 2 ammo per shot. My mistake. Okay, so 45 divided by 2. That's that. And there you go. So that's the basic idea. But remember at the beginning when I said there are a number of things you need to watch out for when doing this. 
I'm going to cover some of those now, but I'm going to start with an issue that really surprised me, and I don't think most people are even vaguely aware of it, and that is unlisted stats. Now, I'm not talking about unique and legendary red text abilities you have to figure out. I'm talking about stats that arguably should be displayed, but sometimes aren't, one of which affects DPS and calculating DPS. Okay. Take these two guns, a Dull SMG and a Hyperion Shotgun. One's anointed, one's not. One's elemental, one's not. Two very different weapons, but they both have something in common that's not listed on the stat card, and that is they both consume two ammo per shot, but that is not listed. There's the SMG, and there's the Shotgun. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. SMG, watch the shot counter. Two rounds. Two rounds. Same thing with the Fearmonger. Two rounds. Two rounds. Here's another example. The one from the last example is on the right and a different one on the left. The right one is missing the two ammo per shot line that I mentioned, but the one on the left is missing the front facing shield information. Okay, all Fearmongers use at least two ammo per shot and have a front facing shield. They're high peering weapons. So I found several examples. I won't go on to what's going on here okay the problem appears to be how gearbox set up the stat card display everything below the main six stats below magazine size is limited to a maximum of nine lines of text every weapon i found with missing info had this in common so there's a sorting algorithm that determines what info is pulled from the weapon's internal data and the order in which it is displayed this includes red text and anointment info as well and if that info takes up more than nine lines of text some of it just doesn't show I'm probably going to do a video on stack cards and or just that issue. But for DPS purposes, just remember, you see nine lines of text, do some testing. See if the gun uses more than one ammo per shot. Okay, so that's the un unexpected thing to watch out for. What else? Are there any other factors you need to be aware of when you're doing these kind of DPS calculations? Yeah, there are a lot of them. And this is probably not even a complete list. I may have missed a couple. I'm not going to go over every single one of these. You can figure most of them out, and plus if I did, this would not be a very short video. I will cover a couple things, though, and just reiterate the fact again that, that calculating DPS is really good for comparing similar weapons or you know different variants of the same weapon. Just be careful when you get beyond that. Now, right up there at top front, it says base DPS results assume you hit with every projectile. So, you got small, fast-moving targets, or if your accuracy and handling is so poor that you know you can't land every single projectile that's going to affect your DPS DPS is going to be less than what's calculated burst fire remember this crossroads the listed rate of fire is 9.92 seconds and the calculated cycle time came out to about 5.27 seconds 5.27 seconds to empty the magazine and reload the crossroads however is a burst fire only weapon it fires a six shot burst and then you have to release and pull the trigger again the rate of fire only applies to the burst and does not account for the pause between bursts actual cycle time is closer to like 6.5 to 7 seconds not 5.27 meaning the actual max dps will be lower than the math would lead you to believe okay uh, you can still use the math again to compare one crossroads with another but less so directly with other guns Last example I want to highlight is damage over time. Now, factoring damage over time into DPS can be tricky because doing damage over time means proccing it consistently. I did an entire video on just damage over time that's linked in the description below. Now assuming you can get it to proc consistently however, you can add the listed damage over time damage per second rating to your calculated DPS to get a different spin on max DPS. Okay, I've used these Western guns for a number of examples. These are the two guns I compared earlier. Western guns all have the same 90% chance to proc dot. And they consistently do that because of their fairly high rate of fire. So if you factor in damage over time, the lower base DPS gun actually becomes the higher overall DPS performer. So that's another way to look at it. Okay, maybe you want to go with the higher DPS guy. Okay, so again, I'm comparing different variants of the same gun and not two very different weapons. I just want to reiterate that when you're doing this kind of thing, it's fine if you're comparing similar weapons or very different variants of the same weapon, but be careful when you get outside that comfort zone. There's a lot of other factors that can come into play. Always do practical testing. 
And that's about it. I hope you learned something. Uh, any comments, let me know. And thank you for watching.